Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Viewpoints. It's me. It's Alex. I'm here with Quinn. Hi, Quinn. Hi, Alex. What's going on, bud? We're in Norway, man. Yeah? Uh, like, first century Norway. Yeah. Old school. Old, well, like, ni the year 900 or whatever. Yeah, whatever. so first century. Whatever they first date. That's like the ninth cent. That's, that's the ninth century. It's like, you could say it's like the first century of, like, human... Uh, oh, civilization. Uh, anyway, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. History is complicated. History is hard. Don't come to Assassin's Creed for history. I think that's what we've learned. We're playing oh, uh, no. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which uh, you you all are probably witnessing in, in 1080p, but I currently am basking in the 4K 60 frames per second on Xbox mm -hmm. Series X, which is gorgeous. This game is very pretty. Yes, I will say, who owns a Series S, this mm -hmm. game upscales to 4K at 60 frames per second. Mm -hmm. and and it's still, nice. I imagine it still looks quite good. Maybe not quite as sharp, maybe a little blurrier, but mm -hmm. I really don't think that's going to make too much of a difference. I, I think the performance is the real achievement here. Yeah. Um, so this is, I, I've, I've been playing Assassin's Creed for a long time. I know, Quinn, I, I feel like, how, how many Assassin's Creed games have you played total, do you think? Um, every one except for Rogue. Really? And how, how much have you finished all of them, or...? Yeah, I haven't finished Unity, but I've finished basically all of them except for Odyssey. Because Odyssey's way too big. Yeah, I didn't finish Odyssey either. Um, I got like 60 hours in, I'm like, and it's still going. Great. I, I definitely was, was disappointed with games like... Uh, Unity and, and to some extent Syndicate, although I didn't play too much of it. Um, Syndicate's good. It's it's a little complicated, but we don't need to talk about that right now. But uh, I definitely got I, I I I've fallen way in love with Assassin's Creed through uh, the the kind of re so, soft rebooted RPG ness of it um, okay. since Origins came out. I was a big fan of Origins. I think it's like maybe a little too long. Uh, and I didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't play any of the DLC. We're gonna go ahead. I figure we'll start off with like a little encampment fighting. That's always fun. Yeah. P people come for the action. Uh, yeah. pl plus, the hidden blade is back, so we got to show that off. Um, yeah. But yeah, Odyssey lost me too. I, I just no hidden blade. The way the stealth mechanics work in that game are a real bummer. I think, yeah. um, especially later on as you progress, it feels like you get weaker, not that you get stronger. And I was playing that game on normal mode. Um, and I didn't want to just kind of brute force my myself through combat. I tried to like actually play that game and I just thought it was miserable to be mm -hmm. honest. Uh, and going back to it, even after time passed to like, hopefully enjoy it more. I was like, man, I like this way less. I, th I think, yep. uh, but they were saying all the right things about Valhalla. It's smaller. It's more focused. There's less bullshit. Um, mm -hmm. and I'm about three and a half hours in and they really just kind of throw you into it. Don't they? Yeah, and I think that's kind of the fun of Val Valhalla. I'll, I will say I was very skeptical because A, Odyssey burned me, and Vikings are, I think, like, totally whatever, like, historically. They're not, There's like, been a lot of Vikings in video games lately, too. We, we've been hit, been hit hard with the Norse wave. Yeah, and I'm trying to modern learn. day people who like rock nor stuff are kind of problematic so i was like mm, i don't want to like engage with that because of like modern day implications but i like what they're doing in valhalla yeah. i texted one Jared green but saying hey this is basically just a game about fucking klingons um for well, those a warrior know, race exactly yeah um and like i'm a big star trek guy so that's like my comparison is Klingons are always talking about honor and singing epic songs and talking about the glory of battle. And that's more or less what everyone in this game is talking about. Yeah, I mean, I think Viking narratives at their best are when they're kind of channeling that energy and kind of mm -hmm. honor bound. And it's not about fucking each other over. It is about yeah. violence, but it's like this is the only life that they have ever known, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so you kind of have to look at it through that lens. Um, so I, it's good. I'm still pretty early on. I, I like some of the characters that I've met. I like Eivor a lot. Uh, we're it, both playing You're rocking Lady Eivor too, which is the yeah. canon version in yeah. my opinion. I mean, she's just so cool. The, I will say like Eivor, the, the thing I really did love about Odyssey was Cassandra. I thought she was phenomenal. I thought she was well-written. 
She was very like she she was very strong, but you know we we get to see her in like some vulnerable positions that that yeah kind of leave her up to really interesting storytelling that I think is actually really great. Uh, oh, I got spotted. It's about to go down. Yep, that's fine. Um, and and I think Avor they're they're already channeling that same energy, but in a different way. It doesn't feel like they're just yeah. retreading. Uh, what they did Same with water, uh, Cassandra. It's not like a familial thing where like, I mean, I'm, she has a brother and it seems like that's a big part of the relationship, but it seems yeah. like it's going to go in a different direction. Yeah, and I think I've played almost 25 hours of this game at this point, and it leans more into that um, like Ooh. idea of honor. And it's, yeah. That sucks um, it's, for that guy. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a little gory at times. Yeah, um, but th that's, that's Assassin's Creed also. Yeah. Uh, and it leans way more into that honor of and like doing like what you think is right. Yeah, um, it, it very much plays out through the story beats that you see. Uh, and that's something that I really enjoy is like, hey, it's and it kind of leads into like the Witcher at times of like, mm -hmm. hey, your choices actually kind of matter instead yeah. of an Origins or an Odyssey. It's like, hey, you're on this linear path. You can still say things to people. But the way you choose to say things and what you shoot, like say, actually matters. Yeah, and and I, I appreciate like origins. Definitely, you could you could tell the inspiration from Witcher Three was there mm -hmm. uh, with the the side quest system. A lot of them like would only come back in kind of minor ways. I think that was kind of where Origins fluster like fumbled the ball a little bit. And yeah. by by the time you get to the end, it's like, well, I guess you know, a lot of that didn't really matter. Um, but, you know, it, it, it's cool, like, their side quest design has gotten better and better, I think. It's yeah. just... I think especially in Valhalla, it's excellent. Yeah, I've only, like, I don't even know if, what are the, would you qualify the stranger missions as side quests or the mysteries or whatever? I think the internet at large and game crit circles have called them side quests. Okay. But if they, I mean, I don't think they, like... In true RPG fashion, they're not really side quests. Whoa. They're just <laughs> that was a little weird. <laughs> yeah, that was. Um, they were just they're just like instanced, like dynamic missions. More or less. Got it. But they're short. They're sweet. You get a nice little narrative out of it, and you're not running halfway across. The map. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I, I left uh, I left a little mark of that. Um, in the, there's a town nearby that we'll be able to go uh, check out after I beat up these dudes. I don't even know whose encampment this is. It doesn't really say. Like, I don't have like an antagonist. I, I like it, pretty early on. You, you kind of had they set up like a, a villain. And I appreciate they kind of close that loop pretty quickly. It, it's a it's yeah. a good opening. Um, but you know, I, I beat that guy, so I'm like, I don't know who yeah, the think, bad guy is. <laughs> yeah, I think um, what they do in this first area is just like, hey, it's bandits. And they're raiders, and they're kind of affiliated with that one guy. I forgot his name. Kyote, um, I think. Yeah, Kyote. It's like, sorry, Dane, like Danish and Norse. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna mess up names. They're they're very cool, but they're very hard to say for us yes, uh, Americans. Um, yes. um, but no, it, it's a great arc because it kind of shows you this. Hey, this is the arc of the game. It's not gonna be something that's like this one core villain. Yeah. There's going to be lots of villains. Yeah, which is cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Very much the opposite of what they did with uh, Odyssey. Odyssey. But but yeah. it is what they, they tried to do with Origins. I, I just don't think they uh, they built up this character enough. Yeah. Uh, I think I got all the treasure here. I don't know. I don't... You're missing the wealth. That's the, the ingot nearby. Got it. Oh, there it is. They're yeah, over in this tower. tower. Also, I, I the bird. I, I'm glad they've decided to keep the bird thing because it's definitely way easier than like anything else. But I am bummed that I can't mark enemies, at least right now. Uh, yeah, I will say that you can't mark. And I'm 25 hours, and you can't mark enemies. Hmm. But there is a perk you can get if you're undetected and you're crouched. Um, all the enemies within the Odin site, like perimeter, you're okay. able to find them. Like it, it, they, they have their glow. Yeah, I uh, think, I think the like the the vision blast is way more useful in this. So, yeah, that helps. And I, this is like one of my big things about this game is because it's kind of hard to mark enemies and figure out like locations and stuff. That I just go in like more or less guns blazing, axes out, and just murk everyone. Yeah. <laughs> um, because I'm like the stealth is serviceable. I think it's pretty it's, good. 
Yeah, it is. I, I will say, yeah. But I like the combat so much. Yeah, it's it's like, I mean, for me, at least right now, there's not a lot to it. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the tougher enemies, like the boss that you fight was, was fun. Yeah. Uh, where you actually have to kind of like parry and dash and pay attention. But I'm doing a lot of just hitting the right bumper and taking fools out. Yeah, but that's fun. Just it is like, fun. It's like murking mindless enemies in this game with an axe is kind of fun. Okay, now I just knocked his back the ledge. Oh! Boom. Oh yeah, he's not get, he's not gonna be in rush hour three. Yeah, no, he's not. All right, and then he got the Inga. Uh, oh, I just got it from that guy. Yeah. Nice. So, um, anim some like certain enemy types will have that kind of wealth on them. So you, if you go to a place and like that guy was it, you have to figure out, oh, how do I like single him out and make this fight more easy for me? All right, so let's go to Starvinger. You gonna do the flight? Or are you gonna do the? Uh, we can do both. I haven't done any flights yet. I did the tutorial one. Let's see. Let's check out these loading times. To see how dope they are. That's pretty fast, oh, actually. Yeah. Have you not? I'm very. That was like my second time ever fast traveling. What I appreciate okay. is, you know, like in all PS3 or PS4, Xbox One games, like right after you finish coming in from the load, it's like, and like everything's popping in. None of that. I haven't seen any of that. Yeah. It's just yeah. all there right when you open your eyes. Yeah, and I I genuinely appreciate how quick the loading times are. Yeah, because I the, was like, oh the, yeah, the first load is a little bit longer, but but respawning yeah. and and fast travel is really quick. It's just, I mean, you just saw yeah. it. Yeah, because I, I was um talking. Yeah, uh, I was just gonna say I I saw it for the first time, but I just saw a little bit of screen tearing. I don't know if that came through. Uh, I don't think it did. But um, I guess just to point out, this game has screen tearing issues on xbox series x from what i understand uh okay. i haven't I, seen any on series s um it, it might only be this version of it but i also will say i haven't seen any up until now the only reason i'm seeing it now is because i had to turn off variable refresh rate on my tv uh to capture okay. um but if you have a tv that supports variable refresh rate on xbox series x it essentially completely el eliminates the screen tearing um which is very nice just because yeah. just I just saw a little bit of it for the first time. Uh, this yeah. is a, a flight, right? Yes, it is a cypher. Um, and so what I was going to say about the quick load times is mm -hmm. I was talking to a buddy, I, um, a co-merchant. A merchandiser for a different company that I, I was talking about load times. is like, oh, yeah. He was asking me how they were. I'm like, oh, yeah. I was like, you know, I did a fast travel. I was like, you know, what? I'll boot up my phone, check Twitter real quick. And then I look up and I'm like, oh, shit, I'm there. Yeah, I've been there probably. <laughs> Um, so it's a nice feeling. So should I? Do you want me to? I've not done one of these. We could also. There's a stranger something over there. I would say go do the stranger one. Okay. And I was uh, like, I could go break in that tower and get another ingot, but I feel like we've fought a lot of dudes. We have. Uh, I think I know what this one is in particular. It's a good one. Yeah. Right. I know this one. I've done um, two. Uh, one was cool. I did it right before we started, where I had to like go fight three people at the same time. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I did another one where a lady, like, tossed her comb in the bottom of a lake. That one's pretty fun. Yeah, that was so funny. Um, I the like thing is with these is, is they are very, like, they're very small. Most of them don't take more than, like, three minutes. Um, which I like. It's like, hey, here's a little bite size of the people in the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, Sulke Silvertongue. Yeah. Everything has value. Yes, this is a good one. I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snake skin from Ragnar Lothar's oh. pit. These items do not look very impressive. Like this old shoe. That belonged to the first Christian Pope. Or maybe it was a saint. First Christian it Pope, baby. The blessing of their God. They will need it <laughs> As opposed to like and there's an old the first Jewish strap. Pope. A shield strap yeah. belonging to the hero Sigurdr when he fought the great beast yeah my the great beast embroidered like that and what about that helmet that was the helmet half in the black war when he, he is totally battle. selling snake oil it oh yeah and bring good crops that is a lie it was the helmet my father Baron wool the night he was killed hey, oh. Hey. oh you fucked up dude i know you now sulky the snake and these are things yeah. from my old home how much silver did Chad um. pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. Damn. 
I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kyoto. I ran. Coward. I should cut you down. No! Leave me alone. You will answer for your actions. Oh, can I go merc this guy? Uh, you don't merc him, but you basically just like say, hey, bro. Oh, who's don't this guy? Just some dude, bro. You don't have to. Listen. He, he tried to fight me. That's fair. All right, now. He's like, hey. Yeah. Is he, oh, he's still he's in this group. Really? Or, I guess I got to turn around looking for that. I'm following this symbol, I assume that's him. No, it just leaps you back to where he was. Oh, okay. Let's see where he went. I think he just goes down this road. Oh, yeah, I guess he's a blue dot, probably. Yeah. He's not getting away. I'm not worried about it. I feel like Eivor is the kind of person that would also, like, literally chase someone to the ends of the earth to kill them. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Which is both badass and absolutely terrifying. I don't know if he is the blue dot. Hey, we're gonna find out. Yeah. Go, um, go ahead. Uh, what was I you were saying something, but we got, we got derailed by, uh... Yeah. Um, she absolutely would, like just run if you are in like rome and she knew that you were in rome she would just go there yeah it's also, she has... yeah go ahead it's cool to hear them reference like other parts of the world the world in, in a way that that like because it's so vastly different than what we see here it's like oh man like i wonder how much they know about other parts of the world like rome and, and like mm -hmm. england and stuff like that i'm sure obviously part of that i'll find out but yeah they do like obviously in, in like uh, great britain and in england proper there are like roman like artifacts because the romans were there we get mm -hmm. evidence of this um so you'll come across like roman ruins that were there cool um that's definitely like a big a cool part of uh odyssey is like when you finally get to parts of the the city that are or, or parts of the map that are like touched by rome and, and that empire yes versus Greece and, and kind of like what they're all about. It's cool that yeah. it's a cool contrast. Uh, he went down around the corner of his ch chat. Cool. Um, I think this was yeah, and that's like something I love is in games when you see like remnants of things that were. Um, this is nice. He went around the corner. Go this way, I did no harm. That's the only thing. I I... Oh, there he is. Oh, you just killed him. I killed him. Don't it didn't oh, give me a choice. <laughs> yeah, because how I did it was um, when I, like, I basically chased him to the ends of the earth. And then he was like, hey, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do this anymore. Here's a key to my house. Oh, I got his key yeah. from murdering him. Yeah. I so Listen, I, I, I would have not murdered him if I could. <laughs> That's fair. But it, 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 it popped up. So I was like, all right, I'll take this. I was like, mm, fingers on the trigger, let's go. Yeah, I mean, my finger was right there, it's all I'm saying. It just seemed like yeah, that's the path of least resistance. Uh, um, but no, I think that's a good example of uh, the side quests. Is they're short. If yeah. you interact with someone, Need to get then the you side. go. Yeah. And that's it. And and there, there is like a little bit of dynamicy. Uh, if that's a word, uh, to um, how you can kind of tackle them, which is also mm -hmm. true of, of, of older, or of like the other more recent Assassin's Creed games. Yeah. Um, but they were a little bit more like black and white. Oh, I could probably burn this, can't yeah. I? That's so like the, the kind of dynamic fire, very Breath of the wild -y. Yes. Um, there's a lot of things you can light on fire. Yes, it looks good. I like just, I like the ability just to have a torch on hand at all times. You just have infinite torches. Oh god, it's so good. Just pulling torches out of nowhere, I guess. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, you have to shoot the thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, there we go. I think I see. Oh, I just, I guess I broke the door down at some point as well. Uh, mm -hmm. I think this is that guy's house. Yeah. All right, we got some but, stuff. Yeah, and then we'll we can go check out the cipher. Um, yeah, I think a lot of people were very like 
Like, oh, there's Viking rap battles. I'm like, they're not really like. like no, they're like insult competitions. Yeah, that's that's like what it was, or what it is, more or less. I mean, which is like, in tr like traditionally, a sniper is you just dunking on your opponent because you can. But it has a lot of like, it has roots in very old, like comedy, like old old comedy. <laughs> yeah, like Shakespearean style comedy. Yeah. Uh, of like, haha, uh -huh, you look funny, and there's like, you make farts because you're scared. It's like, alright, cool. I know you're a weakling. It's I one of my things is I like I don't like doing these, but I'll have guides up. Why do you speak? Because it builds up your charisma stat when you do it. Yeah. So. Oh, I've been online for six hours. I gotta take a break. I have consented to nothing yet. I told my Xbox to tell me to stretch. Do you wish to fleet against me? It's good. It's good to stretch. Yeah. I should probably. Turn I've not been playing my... games for for uh six hours. I've just been my Xbox went on. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, I like I got home from work Saturday, and I played this for like four straight hours. So go big or go home, right, Quinn? Yeah, go big or go home. I could probably you gotta let me focus. Though. I could, you, I could, you're, you're gonna have to take over the commentating, and I will focus on beating this out. Okay, let me <clears throat> pull the mic down from the ceiling. <laughs> uh, I already forgot what he said. Uh, he was talking about your muscles. Uh, it's What's the third one. In muscles, you're lacking in spine. More than strength, All right, I, I got the rest. Don't worry, I got. Fair. Okay. They seem perfectly placed to give children a scare. You're brilliant. Yes, more. Okay. Have you he ever liked met it. someone so witty yeah, and quick? It. Ooh. I would go with the first. Yeah, I like the first one the most. Just incredibly um, thick. Brutal. I adore A lot of these ciphers are pairing with what the the other yeah the pace and the rhyme yeah I'm, as I'm, well as I'm pretty good with. and, and thematically yeah. what the other person yeah. said yeah and like for me it's always oh theme and rhyme those are the two things yeah cadence sh like sure whatever but if you find and, and boom you're level two Yay! and so you get special dialogue options now finally um yeah like i think i'm at level three um the ciphers are very like uh past like they're very sparsed out um you're not doing them very often yeah it's it, 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 that's that's probably the best way to do it right you gotta space mm -hmm. that out and i imagine you get a, a good amount of experience each time so it makes it kind of more valuable so i, I leveled up at some point which could a good excuse to open up this this here skill tree uh oh god it's so bad <laughs> uh you don't like it it's i mean i'm at like power like 90 and it's just fucking a ginormous yeah, I like it a lot. It, it, so, like, I, I played a uh, cross code earlier this year, which has a similar skill tree. But honestly, this reminds me, and, and shout out to Tony Horvath, uh, a lot of the Path of Exile skill tree. Essentially, in that, uh -huh. instead of kind of starting at a central point and working out, which is like most RPGs, it's very traditional. Like uh, Diablo style games mm -hmm. and cross code did the same. Um, that has you, it, it's still one big web that's interconnected. But it has you start at one of like twelve or eight different points that associate, oh. or like the class, and essentially you can get from any spot. So like you could take your wizard class to the barbarian and get all of both. It would just take a while, and depending on which ones you want to do, it would tell you how many webs you'd have to go through to get there. Um, this instead, I appreciate it's you know, hey, you start here, and you either can start with ranger stuff, warrior stuff, or, or stealth stuff. Uh, I obviously went stealth. Because uh, that's how I like to play these games, um, and and then these major skills uh, you find in the world, uh, if I'm mm -hmm. not if I'm not mistaken. Um, which yeah, it's which, a lot of uh, passive cool. thing happening here, which I really like. Um, yeah, it, it, this is like a lot of what I'm upgrading moment to moment in the skill tree is. Um, well, no, you don't you don't get these in the world. That, that's ability. This is something else. Um, so yeah. so you are building to like these special moves. Um, mm -hmm. 
but it, yeah, it's a lot of like, okay, more stealth damage, one, um, yeah. and then here's like a big boon that's way the Raven gives Raven aligned gear all this additions, but that's only if you're wearing that kind of gear, you know. Uh, and I'm gonna do this one as well. Um, so I'm working towards that, and it, so so once you kind of get to uh, an adjacent, so if I got to say like this one, it would reveal what this uh, constellation is. Uh, what is it with I, is Skyrim? Use constellations too? Is that like a Norse thing? Is that like really big in Norse mythology? I really like this skill tree. It's just very intimidating where I'm at. Sure. Because everything, um, like in the beginning, it's like, oh, cool, I can go down these separate paths. But once you start filling it out more, it's like, okay, you kind of get, you kind of lose where you are. Um, which, which is good and bad. Yeah. Um, I like how big it is. I like having the wide breadth of abilities. Like I'm mainly focusing on like the red, like the warrior stuff and the range stuff, not really doing stealth stuff. Sure. Um, because the, the warrior stuff gives you more adrenaline and more ways to make combat dynamic and sure. the way it's merging with my red the blue one is i can swap between my quick bow and my axe and do bonus damage when i do the swaparoo yeah which is so, cool and i and i yeah. like that's how i played um a lot of origins as well so i yeah. i feel you i'm with and, and I, I maybe not origins but maybe it was odyssey uh because yeah. you, you kind of have to be buff in combat in that game or else you're gonna get destroyed um, yeah. I kind of mentioned or alluded to this earlier. This is the ability page, which these are, are things that you find in the world. You'll find like books yes. and stuff. I imagine, I guess they have upgrades as well that you will also yes. find. Yeah. So like for this one, you'll find another book that upgrades it. Got it. Uh, um, and that's, which that's really I, cool. Yeah. I really like the, the system of, Hey, you have to explore to get these abilities. Um, I know like some people may not like that, but I do because it's not, it allows you to build out your skill tree how you want it. And then when you get a, like a perk that fits your tree, it's like, oh cool, that's awesome. I, I like, think it's I, it's it's way better because like the alternative that they've been doing in that most open world games is like you go to a place and you just get a skill point. It's like, all right, yeah. whatever. Um, yeah. This makes like, it's like, oh, I went to that place and I got this ability. It's a little bit more mm -hmm. personalized, you know? Not quite like getting a gun from an exotic quest in Destiny or something. Yeah. Um, I figured one of the last things we could do, because uh, I feel like we've shown up a good deal, a little combat, a little side quest, and uh, let's drop this, these boats, the boat stuff. The boat stuff's good, I will say. Yeah, because like, there's not, it's the minimal. <laughs> yeah, and you like, you pop it out, you follow it, you, you go to, you hit the buttons to where it follows and goes to your objective, you hit that cinematic camera, and then you have your people sing a song. Yeah, ask for a song. And it's very good. Um, uh, and you can have them tell stories too, which is a great little yeah. touch. Um, yeah, as far as I know, there's no ship combat. No, um, I don't. There's not. Origins did that whole thing of like revamping. Like, hey, we're still going to have boats, but it's going to be different. Uh, yeah. And then Odyssey basically made that the whole fucking game. <laughs> and I was way over it pretty much right away. Yeah. Um, especially like the, the kind of medieval take on... Or not medieval, but like ancient era take on ship combat where it's like all bows and arrows and stuff. It's like, this is cool, but it is not as yeah, fun the, as the cannons yeah. and pirates. And it it's just too much. Yeah. I like this because it's basically, hey, the boat's used for traversal. Yeah. And it's a like vehicle. Hauling your, it, it is literally a vehicle and you're hauling your men around to go pillage. Yeah. That is the, the crux of the boat. <laughs> it's a fun feeling. I mean, can we do this right here? Is this one? Uh, yes, I believe so. Oh yeah, let's do uh, it. I would, I would make sure it's not a level, like a higher level than I don't care. If I get wrecked, it's more fun for everyone watching. That's true. Um, uh -huh. and I just, I just unlocked a, a cat for my boat. Yes, that's, I, I need to get a cat. It's like the, the uh, mission of my life. Yeah, it's, you get it in the... These guys are awesome. Okay, you kind of like the third big story arc when you get to England. Uh, yeah, how did like, how did you feel when it was like beginning, like raking? I don't know how to say it, but the the first arc. Oh, I, th I think it's like I think it's solid. Yeah, um, it's they cool. kind of give you um, lots of leniency with how once you get to England and you get your 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 colony more or less settled, it's like hey, 
here are these two options. You can either go like north or south. And once you're done there, then you do whichever one you didn't do. And it kind of fills out based on how you're doing it. That's cool. It's kind of Witcher style. Yeah, yeah it is very Witcher. Um, but it also tells you like, hey, you're not high enough like power for this yet. So don't worry about Like, don't start that. Yeah. Um, which I like. Because um, I just really got to a point where, like I might have to do some grinding. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how to feel about but I mean, like, to be fair, I bet it's pretty minimal. Oh, yeah. I bet just it's like, like side quests, if yeah. you did five side quests, you'd be overloaded, you know? Yeah. Because I think I'm at, like, 87. It's like, hey, the next one's at 90. I'm like, All right, I'm just yeah, that's not bad. Real quick. Yeah. Because you get one power for every skill point you s spend as well. So. Yeah. And the other, I will say, going back to the skill tree, is you can reset it at any time. Oh, really? That's nice. I haven't yes. seen that. It, there's no, like, there, you don't have to put down any money towards it. Like, hey, you want to reset this? Cool, you do it. Like, they're not going to punish you for it. So it's like, you go down one thing where you're like, ah, I don't like this, and you can just respec it at any time. And that's honestly, like, a good design choice. Yeah, totally. I, I think there, there's merit in, in some games to have you, like, have to get an item or spend a resource to do it, but, but this one, it, it seems like, especially with the skill tree that complex, like, just let me do it. Yeah, I think that's the one thing I liked about the Witcher, too, is you kind of can just do it whenever you want. Yeah. Uh, this is, we are in the middle of a uh, official raid, just to, to be super specific. That, I know it was yeah. quick when I started, but that, like, yellow icon and the mm -hmm. Y command at the beach is like, all right, your your men will kind of jump out and help you take over this whole area. Yeah, so they're kind of useless, but it's fun. They keep people busy, so you can kind of roll yeah. up on them and, and take them out quick. Yeah, which I like. Um, I do like having a, I have an axe where it's like every time I hit one of them, it speeds up my attacks, so I can nice. kind of do like a, a one, two, three, and it's done. They also start burning stuff, which is pretty intense. Yeah. yeah. Throw some, uh, throw some torches around. Have a good time. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, but I, I think I'm having a genuinely good time with it. Um, it's probably my favorite big budget game of the year. So. Yeah, it's it's it is like it feels so far very much like they've learned a lot from uh, you know the time the year that they took off, which is always yeah. great. Um, a big part of like the Odyssey fatigue, I think, for me, maybe for you, was like the, that it came out the year after Origins as well. Yeah, and it didn't feel like a true. It was like more of the same. Where yeah. this is, hey, we're changing a lot of things, and also, granted, this is the team that did Origins. Yeah, um, they've clearly been working on this for three years or four years yeah. or whatever. Because that's one of my big things with Odyssey is it feels so much of the same and there's so much bloat. Yeah, it's just so bloated. They, like almost every side quest you take in every village is exactly the same as the last one you did. Yeah. Uh, and and it's there's dozens of them. It feels like if you want to do everything. Which I don't know if you're like a quest log completer as well. It just feels impossible. Which is I'm, a bummer. Yeah, I like doing, like I was, I'm a quest log completer in games like The Witcher Three, where it's like the stories are different and dynamic, and more like, I'm I'm more captivated by the stories they're telling. Yeah. When I did when I did Origins, is like okay, these are just all the same. Yeah. Go here, talk to a guy, kill some dudes, and it's very much the same in odyssey and since there's not a quest log in this more or less um, we have one it's just like the side quests don't really need to be in a quest log i think yes which i really like because it's like that also just goes to the point of how short and sweet they are yeah like hey they're they're bite-sized morsels they're not they're not sprawling epic side quests like in the witcher 3 where some of them can take you up to 90 minutes yeah do i have to burn this just burn this whole village down or something no it's Oh, there's, if some, you get, there's some guys. Um, I mean, technically, to complete a ra raid, is, it's typically at monasteries. Um, you yeah, just have to get all the loot. Yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. I, I thought I had to kill all the guys. I think I, yeah. I got most of the loot. Yeah. Yeah, if there's no, like, glowing things on there, then you're good. Um, I'm sure there's, like, small chests that give you iron and leather. But... Oh, yeah, the, the, uh, the fog is kind of clearing now. Yeah. I will say, um, the one thing we haven't talked about in this viewpoints yet is the gear. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
Let's see. And I think, honestly, this is a big thing for me, is the gear. Yeah. Um, because in those other two previous games, you would just get so much fucking loot. And all of them felt the same, more or less. Yeah. Versus this, where it's like, hey, here's, like, all your inventory of, like, stuff you got. Ingots on the left, runes, trade stuff you can sell. But then this is it. Um, and you'll find, like, just pieces of armor and, like, armor sets throughout the wild and through exploring. But when you, like, want to upgrade a thing, you have to find, like, the proper materials to upgrade it and you have to go to the blacksmith. Yeah. And it's not like, hey, yeah, go ahead. The, like, the only thing that I've gotten a lot of is weapons, right? But you can see, like, my yeah. armor. I, I This is the, the rags that you start with, and then this is the only other piece of armor I've gotten. Um, yeah. I don't know if you upgrade your armor as well. You do. Okay. Um, um, but, so, but, yeah, those ingots we were collecting from raids and from just searching the world, that's what you use to upgrade items. Yeah. With like, um, and I think I'm only... Like I said, I'm 25 hours in, and the only like sets of armor I think I have like one full other set of armor, and I'm working on another two. So like, there's not, it's not a lot. It's a lot of like, hey, here's a lot of different weapons with different perks, and every now and then you'll get an armor, and it's not like sets are limited to one space. They're like they're kind of spaced out. That's um, good, which I like because. When you're just getting loot to get loot in games, sometimes it kind of like demeans the purpose of it. It's like, yeah, right, the loot just... just loses its value. Yeah. And with this is, hey, you have to find the actual materials to upgrade it. So it's te like it's a way of saying like, hey, this piece of armor is or weapon is important to you. Like you're going to be the one upgrading it and you're going to be the one making sure it you upgrade it to get those rune slots and you know what i mean yeah and then um, you know choosing which runes you want to actually use with it and stuff yeah uh like the one There's i'm using more. is like the first one you get to upgrade like as part of the the tutorial so yeah um i think the one i've got is it's the one right when you get to england and it's the what you call it the like called huntsman armor um, I also like how you can just call your boat and it'll just like pop in the world. Yeah, it just does the so, camera spin. I think mine's just too close for it to pop in. Yeah. I didn't realize it was right there to the left. Yeah. I think the last time I did it, the camera didn't pan and it literally just like just plopped in the water. Got that guy somehow. Yeah. It worked out. All right. Yeah. Uh, I think that's Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yeah. And I think for the people curious this is very you are in norway this is the starting area yeah this is very you early as, you can spend as much time here as you want um, you can travel back once you go to england so i like the snowy vistas of norway quite a bit yeah this is very much my jam and everyone knows i love frozen so i mean this is this is the yeah. bread and butter but yeah it's uh i mean we've both been playing on xbox um on next gen consoles but mm -hmm. Uh, it's been a delight. It looks great, runs great. Obviously, the screen tearing yep. issue is a is a known thing. I don't know if there's gonna be a fix for that, but it, it hasn't been too much of an issue if you got that variable refresh rate. And then, mm -hmm. I know not everybody has like a nice LG or whatever, but for the folks that do. Uh, but yeah, it's just it's I'm I'm just having a ton of fun. It, it it's a very like yummy, like comfort foody, like let's let's yeah. run around and, and explore and adventure and get loot and get better and get stronger and level up. But it's also yeah. like it balances it very well of not putting too much in front of you. Yeah, and I think what because we also had like Ghost of Tsushima that came out this year, and like the the difference between the, these two games is almost like night and day. Hmm. Um, like don't like Ghost of Tsushima is a fine game, I'll say it. But playing this is like okay, there's a lot of learning happening and exploring is fun, and I'm like figuring oh, out whale. all these things. Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's a blue guy. <gasps> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I have not seen a whale in this game. Oh, so. the wheel glitched. Oh. <laughs> um, I think it, it was looks just it, like a. It was a double whale. Yeah, um, but it's it's fun watching these two games come out in the same year when they're the very same style. Um, yeah. So. Uh, but to be fair, I guess you, you could even say like uh, Spider-Man. There's a little bit of yeah, that too. 
So, um, but yeah, shout out to 60 frames per second open world games. Yeah, because that's, it is it's, incredible. It's, it's it's a whole new ball game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, go check out our other. We, we've done a bunch of PlayStation Five uh, viewpoints as well. Um, and uh, like Astros. there's a Watch Dogs Legion one as well. Uh, yeah, that's that was on your Series S, correct? Yes. Um, um, so so we we got a little bit of, of Series S, a little bit of Series X now. Mm -hmm. um, keep keep subscribed to YouTube and uh, see our other stuff and all the other stuff we're doing. Yeah. Uh, thanks for hanging out, Quinn. Bye, everybody. Thanks. Thanks for letting me come on, Alex. Oh yeah, Vikings. <laughs>